Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing uh, LeBlanc Middling versus Yasuo. It's a kind of a skill matchup. I think that, in my experience, uh, the real way that you lose LeBlanc versus really anything is just not respecting that you have extremely high cooldown. So if you ever miss, you will be punished hard back. So sometimes it's better to not use abilities at all. Um, he has lethal tempo and also just in general versus even mages. Uh, normally your cooldowns are higher than theirs, but you have extreme mobility, good CC if you can land it, and good damage, once again, if you can land it. Of course, Yasuo has, like, wind wall and things to, like, block my chain and my Q and maybe my ultimate as well. So he has things in place to help versus him. These are the runes that I'm taking, pretty standard. If you want to have an easier time, Biscuits, I guess, would be better. Uh, taking a Mana Flow plus Transcendence just means that I have more CDR during mid-game, but uh, going for Biscuits plus anything else could also be pretty effective it just doesn't scale as well as these runes and i kind of like the scaling um he probably is prepping q on the raptor is pretty standard thing to do okay could just hit him one time to at least get the um let's just use our ability here pop back i wanted to get the creeps i cared about the creeps here i did manage to weave in some autos though before i popped back and before he autoed me back, too. The damage that I took is actually mainly from uh, the creeps there. But that's alright. We want to try to harass during the early game regardless, so. Mm, nice hit. We have to be very careful about doing too many of those trades. We can really accidentally screw up the entire laning phase if we do it too much. But for now, we'll just do a really good job at CSing. Good hit under tower. Just a little bit of poke. You don't always need to proc your sigil. Mm. Oh my god, thank god he didn't continue going. That was actually kind of nerve-wracking. If he continued walking towards me, that could have actually turned into a kind of a bad play. So. Because we did use our cooldowns. We're... We have a pretty significant CS lead right now. It's just a matter of keeping it. We need to always have his shield proc'd, otherwise we just won't deal damage to him. And also we need to be wary of being ganked, and also just not having W if we use it aggressive, right? See, that's the annoying part. I landed chain. Amazing, right? To land chain, it does good damage, but it doesn't matter because Windwall blocks even minion auto attacks, so he actually blocked a ridiculous amount of damage uh, just because of that. And of course, if I never landed it, it would have been even easier for him to land it, so. Oh, thank god that didn't land. He might come back in. Possibly. This guy is Aftershock and not Guardian. I don't know if he was seen or not. Not really sure. We're both low, but we both have Ignite. That's the scary part. Mm, I think he doesn't have play, sadly. It, he could have played him into tower if he did, because he went pretty deep there. Oh, I like die to 1Q plus Ignite. It's super scary. Mm, this is just a bad play now. We just can't can't hope. Bobeth like overcommitted super hard, so she's just gonna get a free kill. Or she's going to die and give Yasuo a free kill. Yasuo used flash and ignite. Kind of bad for me. At least I can probably collect the wave under tower after he hard shoves, so I'll probably stay. Because if he did use Ignite, I should be pretty safe. One of the biggest threats was just taking a little bit of damage and then him finishing me off with the Ignite, but thankfully, if he did use it, we're okay. We'll have a pretty big buy, too. Pretty nice one. I kind of like Sorks first on LeBlanc some games. Could be a good one this time. Mm, 
big hit. Got the W trade off. The problem is, can I even get my Belveth to help right now? I have enough mana for my E, by the way, if he uh, overextends. But he sees where Belveth is because she had to clear out that ward, so... Oh, nice. I did land it. Okay, so he's just dead. Nice. We landed the chain, so he was CC'd the entire time. Very powerful. LeBlanc chain is, like, in my opinion, one of the best gank setup uh, things in the entire game. Because, um... Wait, who the hell is that? That's top lane? So Nara's gonna collect the wave. Smart, because it was a whole entire wave that he would have missed. So now we can buy Lost Chapter Plus Boots. Anyways, LeBlanc chain, very powerful, because it's not an instant CC, so... In my opinion, Delayed CC is actually extremely powerful and kind of underrated as, like, huge strength. Because, um, rather than, like, let's say, Lux binding him as my teammates are coming in, because that's also a snare, right? Snaring the Yasuo. My teammate still has to arrive, right, when you snare the person. But with LeBlanc, I can hit it, and then my teammate sees that they I hit it and follows it up. And then the chain goes off, and it snares them a bit delayed, which means that your teammates can collapse on it, like, easier. And also they can set up their own CC easier. Mm, dang, this guy's gonna get dove caught by Nar. Isn't he? Oh, wow, he lived? Holy crap, well played. I was rotating up because I was afraid he was going to get dove. I did walk over a pink ward, though, so maybe that's why Yasuo didn't ulti the guy, because he still did have it, and he did get knocked up by the Yasuo. But Yasuo didn't commit. All right, well, maybe I just saved my top lane's life by, like, halfway rotating, possibly. Getting this guy's shield is going to be so annoying. Yeah, he's already really fast. Okay, I did land the chain, but it was like a not an even trade, though. It was like somewhat favorable for him. Here, let's just uh, get his shield again. We can try to maybe keep the wave like somewhat close to us. Is this warded? Damn, he just keeps on hitting me with every single Q whenever I go for a trade. Super frustrating. We'll just back away for now. We have good gank setup, but our 1v1 potential is really bad. At this point, that is. I care more about the CS more than anything. Because if we can just get to Ludin's purchase, it actually feels really good against even... I feel like LeBlanc's kind of like... even You don't have to win early game. It's very good if you do. But uh, if you can make it to mid game somewhat even, you're still in a completely fine spot. I can always land chain, but I can never follow it up with anything. We're still doing fine CS-wise. This wave isn't a cannon, so he should be able to shove this very quickly. Is there a way to get my Belveth to come? Because if this guy jumps on me... Nah, he's just dead. Even if he flashes, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I was gonna say, we have double distortion, so we're just trying to keep him interested in, in fighting us because we have our jungler around. We waited a long-ass time before we played, like, super aggressive, and it all worked out. You can think of your jungler being nearby as uh, kind of a safety net, where it's like, now is the time for you to uh, attempt 1v1s if you want to try, because if the 1v1 does go sour, um... You, you can be bailed out, basically. 
That being said, I don't think I win 1v1 versus this guy unless he like severely messes up. And he was holding on to wind wall for a very significant portion of that time, so. Unless he like screws up wind wall, it's really difficult to do anything. Sometimes inside some matchups, I think of it just as inside a laning phase, we can't do anything, so let's just play until we can get out of it. Like I would be completely fine with going 0 0 0 versus Yasuo as long as we're both even CS. It's not a big deal. I would consider that not winning, but like it's not gonna affect too much of the later stages because you still scale pretty well with like just having like at this point I'm very strong because I have levels now, so um my W cooldown is very short, finally. Landed chain. So yeah, 1v1 him there. I basically dodged most of his Qs, plus played around W very well, landed chain. Both of them didn't win wall. Um, so because I was able to land absolutely everything, continue the auto weaving and just waiting for next set of cooldowns happening, plus having ignite just makes it a bit easier to play. LeBlanc is really strong at level 11 too, and we're getting pretty close to that point. Because our ultimate cooldown will go down to 37 seconds. Plus I get a plate. God. Let's just try to shove in fast. We're just caring about the wave right now because he's going to be back very soon. And then he might immediately all in because we just used everything. So I'll just use it away. I don't want him to go too aggressive on me. Even if he... I might not die. I just want to not be near him so I can base sooner. So I can be back on the map sooner. Belveth is the fed one, but it's mainly through bot lane, and also she has, like, all the kills. So if Belveth dies a single time, we can, like, throw the game um, pretty easily. And also, I'm late to this because I I went for a reset, so, like, Yasuo's going to be there before me, which also really sucks. Like, this is going to... Wow, how is Yasuo not ulting here? He must have been out of range because that should have been really bad for us. Pretty good trade there, but we didn't really get to do anything. This seems like a really stupid play, so. I wonder if Graves will walk back into his jungle towards Raptor side. No? They're just going hard for my teammate? I'm just gonna wait for them to come back. Through. She's dead. She panicked. One more auto should do it. And then we just start running away. Use our potion. Oh my god. That's scary. Alright. Graves also died. That's pretty good. Caitlyn's going this way. I'm just gonna snare this guy instead, but then I'll go for Caitlyn. I'm just trying to deter the Yasuo from collapsing on me with the snare. I don't really care about actually keeping him locked down. Very patient play. Okay, we landed the snare. Didn't get knocked up. I can put on Q on him, but I don't have uh, my W up just yet. Okay, nice. He's just dead. Another Q on top of the guy. Thank you, Thresh, for that assistance. The reason why Caitlyn and Nami were so desperate there is because this Belveth is worth a ridiculous amount of gold. Um, killing her would, like, really put them back into the game because she is worth three kills. So... That's why they were probably doing it, because she was kind of toying around with them, like maybe giving them an opportunity to possibly die to her, or possibly uh, kill her, I mean, so. Uh, Sweeper normally is pretty good on LeBlanc. Normally I don't go Sweeper, because I'm kind of a ward guy where I like having deep vision, but Sweeper on Assassins is always pretty damn effective, so I guess we can go for that this game. Level 11 now, so very low cooldown ultimate. Uh... This person is very underleveled, so she is a pretty easy kill if we can just land our abilities. That's really the, the case with LeBlanc. The only point and click ability you have is your Q. So, can you land Chain and can you land W? She does have Gale Force and Net. Yasuo is bot. He is not very strong, to be honest. Okay, I missed that, so I'm just going to back away. If he keeps going aggressive, I can maybe look. Although, there's like a mid-fight going on, so honestly, I might just dip 
and maybe get there faster than he can. And I can maybe clean up the play that's already being lost, possibly. I don't know if this is warded or not. Okay, she did not die. That's very depressing. Wow. That was really close, though. Also, snapping back was really scary, because what if Yasuo was there? That could have been uh, super bad for us. Is this warded? If it's not, then we can maybe look for an opportunity to pick. Oh, they're going to come over to try to contest. But I have, like, a good flank position. Oh, they know. This is probably warded, then. I saw Thresh sweeping, though, which is the odd part. My ultimate's back up soon. That's the thing that I really want. He's dead. When I have my ultimate, I went for a WQRE play because there's no way for him to cancel it. We'll clear out this vision control. The reason why we won't rift so bad is because Belveth can get her true form that like give her the not only the bonus form, but it lasts for three minutes, which is longer than the other forms. Only when she gets rift and barren. I think Zonius is really good, but I'll go for the ball of the Giga Chad. Shadow Flame instead. This will just make it so all of the squishy players will just die to a full combo without even needing to burn Ignite if I can land it. Nami, Kate, Graves, because they have no magic resist. This guy has a shield bow, so that will probably protect him. Now, once again, I went bot because the wave is bad, but. At the same time, my team is like wanting to do this Rift Herald, so it's really awkward because now I have to rotate over and just pray to God that they don't get into a skirmish before I uh, arrive. Okay, cool. Yasuo won't bot, so we're actually okay here. If we do fight now, I'm here and Yasuo isn't. We can even pink ward this to just have a little bit of vision control down. And then we just go for Nami. She flashed, I think. My chain should have landed there, so got big damage off. Nice, huge. They got them really low, so I just flash W just to finish them off. Will this Nar jump in on us? I can just be annoying. <laughs> oh my god, please, I don't want to die though. Don't do it, Nar. Leave, leave, leave. Okay, the dragon was up, so it was kind of stupid that I did that, but we did get Caitlyn ultimate, <laughs> so <laughs> that, that will be my my prize. God, I don't heal fast enough. It's not even worth full healing. Damn it, dude. Is this going to also turn into a fight? They only need one more dragon now. And a thousand gold. Basically, I mean, it was 900, but I'll just round it up. She's dead. She face checked. I don't even have my Shadow Flame yet, but my damage is still just extremely high. Oh, uh, we can still lose this game. As I as I mentioned before, just because we're winning doesn't mean that it's, like, over. The Gnar is really fed, up 50 CS. Bot lane is doing, doing pretty well. Um... But they almost have soul, and souls are, like, worth a lot of stats. They're going to get slows if they get it. True damage, a little bit of true damage. It's pretty small, but the slow is very, very powerful. We didn't have Shadow Flame yet, so now we'll have an even easier time killing the um, Nami or whoever else. So, you can see that I can one-shot her even without having Shadow Flame. Now will be easier. Um... Probably Zanya's next. If I want to be, once again, a Giga Chad, I can go with, like, Death Cap. Um... Okay, well, got her as well. It's not very easy to survive versus this LeBlanc, huh? There's a chance that, uh... Let's just clear out vision. We can at least get that guy's ultimate, as long as I don't get hit by bubble or anything. This is really awkward. <laughs> My W's down. Oh, she got so caught up, man. 
I mean, I, I'm a champion that honestly just can't get caught out. Okay, she flashed. That's huge. Got Nami. Sums. Dude, this is going to turn into a bad play. I think we should just leave. If, if you guys get hit by a knockup, this can instantly turn into, like, the worst play. I'm not going to even go for an auto attack. It's not even worth it. Just wait for my next ultimate. Oh, okay. Stopwatch. And then sit on stopwatch, obviously. Uh, don't build the Zhonya's unless we maybe use it, and maybe we can go for some other items instead. If we do get a death cap, our level of power just skyrockets to the point that... Oh man, maybe Cosmic Drive is good too, though. Like, I'm thinking about the CDR. She's dead. See you later. Got her exhaust as well. Just waiting to see if we can maybe get a pick. Okay, so we really, really do care about this dragon, it seems, because that's what we're playing around. I just saw the graves nearby. Where did he go? That's who I was looking for. You never know. Sometimes you can catch like people trying to take camps because they think that your jungler is not there. Damn, he's 1 HP. I messed up though. But we can probably still help. The Nami wave also missed, so thankfully uh, we weren't hit by a knockup because I didn't want Yasuo to obviously chain it. That'd be pretty bad. Damn, if I landed Chain, we could have probably killed. That's warded. I think I could have killed Nara there, and that would have been a shutdown too. Getting this dragon right before Baron, and then everybody just rotate. We have first move, 11 seconds. Go around the back way. Just kill the Graves. That's who we care about. Okay, never mind. That guy jumped on me, so... As soon as he left his wind wall, then I immediately bursted him with as much damage combo as I could. And now we have a flank position. Okay, I'm just gonna have to go around this way. This is fine. Because they have to continue running away. I'll ignite him, so he should die here. I'm pretty safe. The only person alive now is the, uh, Caitlyn. Who could potentially try to steal if she wanted to with her Q, but we see her mid, so I think it's good. I'm not going to risk maybe going for her. I was thinking about going for like a QR play, but with that HP, Gale Force does bonus damage when the lower you are, so maybe she could kill me. If you think about it, like she has two full items and I have one, two and a half. With, like, the dark, dark Seal gives more AP, but I didn't have uh, this Needless beforehand. So, like, we were kind of even items, in a way. Like, she's even though she's 1 in 7, you have to understand, she still deals damage now. Especially with me being low, too. She deals more, right? If Nami steps up, I can kill again. We can just continue going for, for her over and over again. This could not be warded as well. Yep, got her. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm not dead. I got the lantern. Oh my god. It was not worth going for the 1 in 7 Nami. 
I almost died. Although I didn't burn anything, like I didn't burn flash, so that's kind of nice. I did burn stopwatch though. It was worth. It's about sending a message to the Nami. Very effective. Okay, let's uh, take this over, you know, using the Hex Gates. Hex Gates bring you back on the map faster than just walking. Yasuo was nearby. I would not doubt that he was, like, around here, possibly, looking for a plank play. He didn't, though. We see him. We might be able to just end the game. Even this Gnar is super low. If we can just kill him, that'd be pretty sick. Yeah, now, now that he's dead, it's probably just over because he would be the person defending, so, yeah. Nice LeBlanc game. Ooh, almost got her with the chain there. Our damage is so damn high. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, commentary on LeBlanc mid lane inside of Hyelo, how I managed to make this pick work despite it being such a terrible win rate. I have a lot of practice on her, and I know what I need to do to really uh, do well with her. So, yeah. If you guys did enjoy the commentary, you guys want to help me out with the algorithm, dropping likes on the videos, or even subscribing, even if you uh, don't like subscribing, does help out reach to new viewers. So, if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to give me a little bit of support just with a, a click. You can always unsubscribe later if you get tired of it as well. Uh, I'll just I'll give it a thrash for the lantern play. So, anyways, hopefully you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching once again. Did the most damage in the game by uh, a little bit versus Nar, but versus my own teammates, I did pretty damn well. Yasuo did the least with doing less damage than Nami. So, thanks for watching again, guys, uh, and I will see you guys next time.